number one Iron Age booty daddy. For several years now, Disney has been trying to pander to the left wing and the ultra left wing side of the political compass of this country. Now, one of the biggest moves that we saw was when Florida passed the Parental Rights and Education Act, or the thing that they completely misnamed on the left called the Don't Say Gay Bill. Now, back then, uh, what is it, Chapek decided to come out and say how he was against it, and they always had a friend there, so on and so forth. But we have seen in the last year, especially more and more moves to push the idea of gender identity and certain sexual uh, things in nature in front of our children. This all goes into the diversity, equity, and inclusion clauses that are most likely governed by the banking institutions with their ESG clauses. Now, one of the most recent things that has come to light is that Disney was sending out surveys to some of their most recent guests asking them about, well, their gender identity and so much more. Let's go over to Bounding Into Comics. So over here on Bounding Into Comics, the Walt Disney Company surveys the Disney World guests on sexual orientation, gender identity, and more. A new report shows that the Walt Disney Company is now sending out surveys to Walt Disney World guests questioning them on their sexual orientation, gender identity, and more. God, I hate it when they do that. <laughs> This is also by John F. Trent. This is a fairly long and lengthy uh, piece, so I would welcome all of you to go to it and definitely check it out. This new report comes from WDW, uh, WDW Pro uh, at that park place, okay? So they are sourcing WDW Pro and features readers of, of the website and Walt Disney World guests sharing screenshots of this of surveys they've been sent after a park visit. Twitter user Doc Ep. Epcot. Doc Epcot revealed he received a survey, a survey from Disney Parks following a visit to one of the parks in August. Upon getting to the last question of the survey, he revealed it asks, do you or anyone in your travel party identify as a member of the LGBT blah 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 community? Okay. And he says here, why is this the last question of a long survey? What the F does this have to do with me coming to your hotels or parks? He says, you sick bastards, enough already with this garbage. It's unnecessary. So we can see here that even Disney customers are getting absolutely sick of this constantly being pushed in every form and facet of their marketing. All right, scrolling down here, we've got in another tweet, the user revealed that Disney Party Ask now will be asking you for some details about each of your party in your household, including their age and their gender. If a child is under the age of one, record age as one, it then asked... Um, asks for the survey taker to provide their age uh, then <clears throat> before then asking their gender and then provides five options all right and again doc, doc epcot says i don't mind partaking in the surveys but why must you inject this data point it's absurd you're affirming mental illness it's wrong and it needs to stop ladies and gentlemen boys and girls yes this is something that again has been going through uh, rampant in the disney company and there have actually been several stories in the last week that i've really wanted to cover um but when i went to actually go look for one of those stories again i found this story here and i decided you know what this is something that absolutely needs to be talked about the disney company in and of itself seems to be rotting to its core but it seems to be wanting to do it now obviously most of this is governed by the banking institutions when they have their esg uh, guidelines many banking institutions also have a diversity equity and inclusion guideline inside of the environmental and social governance guidelines so what you don't understand here is a lot of these companies although they may or may not agree with it they may or may not be able to to even stand up to the banking institutions. This is something that has been infectious in society. I find it quite interesting that obviously with all this gender affirmation stuff, it's radically, radically changed and altered the birth rate in this company, or in this country, I'm sorry, basically reducing the birth rate to almost less than replacement rates. Now, if you don't have a whole lot of uh, children and you know families, then who exactly is the Disney company going for? And do these people have the money to actually engage in the entertainment that they want to? My argument is no. As we've seen 
over and over and over again with Disney. It is going to take a powerful, powerful blow to their financial status for them to start to back away from any of this stuff. For years, there have been many YouTube channels out there saying, oh, Disney's going to get it now. They're going to take a financial loss here. They're going to take a hit here. And yet time and time and time again, these channels seem to be wrong. Time and time again, Disney keeps doing this and keeps going for it and keeps wanting to push an ideology that absolutely erases the differences between men and women. Now, this is just a marketing survey to find out what their guests enjoyed and what they didn't enjoy in order to optimize their parks and their recreation there. Why on earth would they need to know, well, the age of people and their gender at the same time? One could simply say, hey, do you have members who are over the age of 18? Do you have members under the age of 18? If they really wanted to know exactly the type of guests that they have coming. How many children, how many adults go from there? I might even understand that question to a certain extent. What I can't understand is how accommodations such as hotel rooms, long lines, rides, customer service, and things of that nature would factor in to any of the questions here. Trying to get somebody to reduce themselves down to a simple word instead of a person, and never forget, that's what most of this gender ideology is for, is to reduce a person down from no longer being themselves, but simply being a categorization. Now, I hope that you guys are paying attention to what's going on with the Disney company. It's definitely something that's completely and utterly terrifying. The shows that they're coming out with lately, the things that they're doing lately are absolutely insane. So, guys, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about this. Are you guys still subscribers to Disney? Do you still go watch the Marvel movies? What are you guys doing? I cut a lot of that out. I've never obviously been to the parks. I don't watch the Marvel movies, and I do my best to avoid any Disney products. Sometimes there's still something that comes out that I'm sure is a Disney product. And I go, oh, this isn't bad. But for the most part, I decided to speak with my wallet. What are you guys doing? Let me know down in the comments below. And never forget, I dedicate a special live stream to everybody who comments on this channel. It's called Sunday Coffee. It's at 11 a.m. Central on Sundays. So that way you guys can come over, hang out with me while I read your comments and you guys can hear my thoughts and my reactions to your comments. You guys have a chance to call me out, tell me I'm wrong, or you guys have a chance to say, hey, here's something that you missed and here's something that you should know about. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. And until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. Never forget, if you would like to be a part of my supporter live streams, head over to my Gilded or my Locals. Links down in the description, and you guys can join me for those live streams every single Wednesday. But right now, I would love to say thank you to everybody who is supporting me. Over on Locals, we've got Little Andean, Sword Rush, Frequency Studios, Katie Francis, Kikomon, Iron Age Media. We also have... Over on the Gilded, JP, the Myriosphere Origin, Skunk's Workshop, and the Gold Tier, he is an Iron Age booty daddy. Trippy Soul, also another Iron Age booty daddy, Kiko Mon, and Frequency Studios to round all of it up. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here on the channel, and I will see you all in the supporter live streams.